Welcome back to the show floor here at PPMA 2023. We are PPMA TV brought to you by Mark and Mimage. And uh, I'm bringing to you now Andy from GIC. Uh, Andy, we've just been having a good old chat. We're going to have a bit more of that chat yeah. on the camera this time. First of all, tell me about GIC. GIC, um, been going since 1984. So we've now got uh, a good solid business and we design and manufacture a full range of vertical form fill seal machinery. Uh, right from the floor up with everything done in house and we've got a full range from small baggers to high speed continuous motion. This year is our 20th anniversary of designing and building continuous motion high speed baggers. In the UK, designed and manufactured in the UK? 100% and supported from our base in Lincolnshire. Yeah. Good, we, we love to hear that. You brought some of your equipment. I mean, we'll just talk very, very quickly about, uh, about that behind sort us. Sort of a mid-range continuous motion model. Big seller, probably the biggest seller in the range. Um, good for up to 80 bags per minute on a fairly big bag as well. But it can go up to, there's a sister machine, will do up to 150 bags a minute. And the biggest seller in the range, I would say now. And, and it's a good machine. Workhorse, been around for 20 years in mechanical design, but had various upgrades with the electronics over the 20 years. And that's the latest generation. Talk to me about business, Andy. How's it going? It's good. Yeah. We're, we're busy. We're, 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 we had, we're just on our year end, so we had another good, successful year. Um, this year we're seeing more growth. We're busy at the moment. Slower start to the year, but through the summer and into autumn, busy. Really good, picking up some good orders. We work in the mid to high end. We, we, we can't compete at the entry level market, but we mid to high end with an absolute fantastic after sales. I personally push the after sales really hard to make sure that if the phone rings today, you'll get help today. Because you're in the fresh food industry, a lot of it, fresh salad leaf, fresh produce, frozen food, it all, it's made today into depot today. So service and cost of ownership, total cost of ownership, is really probably what we push harder than anything else. And that gets you repeat orders. We get a lot of repeat orders. That machine you see behind you, that's probably the guy that's ordered that. It's his probably his 15th machine from us over a, not a long period of time. As I always say, repeat business is good business. Um, that's your fast turnaround stuff. That's the stuff that you're able to respond to your customers' needs and to your own businesses' needs very quickly. But the thing that can take a lot longer to prepare for, to, to, to build for, is talent. Now, yeah. this is an area that I know you feel very strongly about in terms yeah. of developing this next generation of talent, something we've been speaking about an awful lot over the last few days here on PPMA TV, is Great. about ensuring the next generation of talent, there's a path to nurture, develop, and ultimately yeah. take over when, when yeah. you guys step out. As, as, a, as an old engineer, and when you, know, you look at the, when I, we did the management buyout in 2006, and you looked at the average age of the workforce, you thought, these are, the old engineers, it's a breed that we need to bring in new talent, bring in new people to train up to be engineer. Engineering is a great profession, it's a fantastic skill. So since 2006 we have consistently brought in young people to f get trained up, learn from these old boys, learn the trade and you, you have a career. Most of my team, most of the people in the business with the exception of three are engineers. Everybody who's customer facing is an engineer. And there's careers, you can get into a commercial role, you can get into service and support role, commissioning teams. So we now have had since then, every year, bringing in young people to grow into the business. And most of them have stayed with us. One or two have moved on. They get them a blessing with that. I get it, go out into the big world world, but learn. It's a great career. You can have an interesting career in engineering. So we are passionate about that. And I, I, I like to see young people progress. Apprenticeships, talk to me about those. Obviously, we are uh, celebrating apprenticeships at the PPMA Awards and you know, Young Apprentice of the Year and so on. Apprenticeships, that's an area that you guys are very active into. Yeah, so every year we take on apprentices. We bring them through the HETA scheme, HETA scheme in Humberside and they spend the first year at HETA, then they come to us and then they, we put them through the final years and they get to build machines and document how they do it and we make it interesting and a bit of fun as well. It's got to be, you've got to enjoy work. Um, speaking of enjoying your work, we've been here for a couple of days now. You've been coming here for about 20 or so years. Yeah, um, and the rest. And the rest. <laughs> right, okay. I am uh, old. <laughs> um, have you been enjoying your time here this year? You've been getting a good footfall and stuff? I do. I do. I quite like doing the show, to be honest. 
my, Luke, my business partner, said to me last night, it's your baby, you love to do it. I said, I do. I quite like standing here and talking to customers. You get good feedback. If they come to you and you can have a good chat about how's the lines running, what's, what's happening next year. And it works. Plus, you mix with other people that are in the industry. You can do your networking. Good to chat, Andy, as always. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Cheers.